Hey guys, welcome back, and this time I'm going to be doing another movie review for you guys today, and as I promised in the last video I made where I reviewed Once Upon a Time in China 2, I would do a review on the next one, and that of course is the third one, Once Upon a Time in China 3, which is part of this, uh, the Criterion Collection, um, complete film collection for all the films, all six films, and, um, so this one was released in uh, 1992, directed by Soi Hark, uh, produced by N.C. Yun and Soi Hark himself. And Soi Hark was also one of the writers of the film, and stars, of course, Jet Li, Roseman Kwan, um, guy Kent Chang, and uh, let's see, I'm going to read you um, who else is in the movie, because they don't, they don't give you the, um, casting on the back, so I'm going to tell you who else was in there. Um, Max Mock, I think that's how you pronounce his name. And, um, Hung Yan Yan, and, um, Shun Lao. And what the movie's basically about is Wong Fei Hong and his disciples wanting to, um, be a part of the Dancing Lion competition to stop a bad guy from, um, wrecking havoc uh in the town and that's basically what the story's about and i think this is a really good sequel and um you know like i recently got into the series uh like last year i'm not gonna lie to you i know like a lot of you probably think <laughs> i'm probably crazy for not growing up with it but that's just i mean like it's no particular reason i mean growing up i love gently um, but, I mean, I'm more of a Jackie Chan fan than Jet Li, like, that's just me, but I still love Jet Li, though, don't get me wrong. Um, but, yeah, um, this one is just as good as the first two, in my honest opinion, uh, very funny. Um, you know, you got, uh, Roseman Kwan, who plays, uh, 13th Aunt in there, I think it's pretty funny that they call her 13th Aunt. Um, and you got, uh, Max Mock, who plays, um... Foon, uh, and he's as hilarious as hell. Uh, Wong Fei Hong, of course, played by Jet Li, is a badass, just as he is in the first two movies. And the fight choreography, the fight scenes, uh, the location settings, cinematography, everything about this movie is just uh, beautiful, amazing. Uh, the acting itself is also really good, too. And um, this is uh, the... Uh, last film, for a while anyway, was when Jet Li uh, played Wong Fei Hong. Because he got recasted in the fourth and the fifth one. He does re reprise his role in the sixth one, but he was absent for the next two movies, unfortunately. Um, which I haven't got around to uh, the fourth, fifth, or sixth one. The sixth one is included in here, but I just, I've only seen the first three so far. But um, I'm not sure when I'll get around to the other ones, but when I do, I do. And if I do, you know, I'll... Uh, I'll do a review on them, uh, they'll have their own separate video, just like I've done with the first, uh, two, and with this one that I'm currently doing right now, so, yeah, um, I'd say that this is definitely, um, a franchise that's, uh, definitely one of Jet Li's, uh, best works, I have some other, uh, Jet Li films, I have Kiss of the Dragon, I have, Fearless, you know, I need to get more of his stuff. There's a whole bunch of other movies that I like that are favorites of mine. Hero, um, Cradle to the Grave, Romeo Must Die, you know. Um, the guy can make a great movie, Jet Li. And uh, he's a brilliant martial artist. And, um, you know, like a lot of you guys that are known, like who are just familiar with his American works, like The Forbidden Kingdom and some of the other ones I just mentioned earlier, um, definitely start off with these, or if not even some other earlier ones, like, um, what was that one? Uh, The Enforcer, that was a good one. Um, and there was another one that he did that was good. Um, I'm trying to think of it. Um... I believe it was, um, I'm trying to think, what was another good one that he was in? Um, Born to Defense? Yeah, that's another good one, too. And, uh, 
I, I think if you like anything Jet Li related, or if you're a big Sammo Hung, Jackie Chan, Yun Biao fan like I am, and you haven't, you know, really gotten into Jet Li's uh, filmography, or haven't seen, like, most of those well-known uh, movies that are non-American productions, uh, i definitely go with this, or if not, you know, some of the ones that I've mentioned before. Um... Yeah, like, I still think it holds up. I mean, like, there are certain times, like, where people are flying through the air that, like, you might see some, like, strings or wiring or whatever. I've noticed that on the Blu-ray. I mean, I don't know if it's just me. So let me know if you guys have this box set and if you've noticed that while watching it. Let me know, because um, I certainly noticed it. I mean, if I notice it, you know, it's not going to bother me. Like, you know, I don't, I don't really care about that stuff because i mean watching it now you know obviously it's gonna be dated you know special effects right now have obviously changed uh, throughout the years um since the, then since when these movies were made these were made in the 90s so i mean it's kind of you know um some of the effects are like like a little bit dated but not 100 percent dated um but to me, like, even if effects for classic movies like, like these, or even movies older than these, you know, like, I still, you know, really enjoy them, you know, I'm, I know, I know that some people might, if they are, like, first-time watchers and they watch it now, like, they might give it shit or whatever, but me personally, you know, I, I'm a martial arts, you know, like, uh, person, so, I mean, it doesn't bother, it doesn't bother me whatsoever, but, uh, yeah, um, definitely recommend Once Upon a Time in China 3. I'm looking forward to the other three movies. Uh, 4 and 5, I'm kind of skeptical about them, but uh, let me know if I shouldn't be skeptical, if I should be, whatever it is, let me know. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching my review for Once Upon a Time in China 3, and stick around for more reviews and stuff like that, and I'll see you guys in the next one.